Pets records at Guinness World Records are very, very popular, but none really as popular as the dogs category. People love dogs, they're just obsessed by them and we get claims all the time. And I guess the key one, I think for me, would be the tallest dog. So the Great Dane uh, is very well named because it is great. Um, the, the popular nickname for this breed is the Gentle Giant. So these dogs are huge, they're majestic, they're noble, but they're extremely gentle um, and in many ways make an excellent pet. The Grey Dane is the dog you always tend to think of. When you think of a huge dog, a tall dog, you tend to think of Grey Danes. But ironically, technically, it's not actually the world's tallest dog, not as a breed. The tallest dog as a breed is the Irish Wolfhound, which averages very slightly taller than the Grey Dane. But it just so happens that when he gets exceptionally big, even the Irish Wolfhound pales into insignificance, which is why in the last few years, all of the record holders for the world's tallest dog have been Grey Danes. We saw the episode on Oprah Winfrey about the world's tallest dog. And I'm like, man, Denise, Zeus has got to be right there. And then we start trying to measure him, but there again, he's such a baby. He was fearful of the tape measure. We had to get it measured by a certified vet and then a few other criteria. And we had to take photos of that with him standing with his all four feet on the floor. So as time went, we were able to get 44 inches. And then we knew we had something special. Um, while Zeus may well be the tallest dog living, um, the title for the smallest dog living in height goes to a teacup chihuahua called Miracle Millie. Um, from our database, um, while Great Danes weigh in at an average of 62 kilos, teacup chihuahuas weigh, weigh in at an average of 2.2 kilos. So that means we could um, put together 30 different teacup chihuahuas just to make up one Great Dane. And the other way to look at it, which is even more formidable, Zeus stands on his hind legs, you know, if he's got paws on his own shoulder, he will stand on his hind legs, and that puts him at 7 feet 3 inches back in metric, around 2.2 metres in height. Now, that is over a third of the height of a giraffe. So you're talking at an absolute, I mean, that is exceptionally tall. That, um, he is not just the tallest Grey Dane ever, he is the tallest dog of any breed ever. You know, he is truly exceptional. Zeus has a very laid back, gentle personality. He um, gets along very well with our other animals. He gets along well with anybody that we meet um, in the street. He is a pet therapy dog, so he's very comfortable around people and is always very gentle with them. Because of the extreme nature of a Great Dane, it doesn't have a long lifespan. It tends to live around between around five to seven years. I mean, most of the um, the, the previous record holders have only lived that, that length of time. His predecessor, uh, Giant George, was seven. His predecessor, Titan, was five. His predecessor, Gibson, was seven. So it's all around that same uh, period of time. Um, so yeah, again, a short life, but a happy one, hopefully. <laughs>